Hello, and welcome to special coverage of the EDB Scathy Cathane Miner and Cathane Detection Orbiter mission, which was launched by a Saturn C3X rocket a few days ago. And the mission was launched into a translunar injection. So it departed the Earth and made its way to the sphere of influence of the Moon. This special report will cover the activities of the mission that were scheduled to occur today which were getting into lunar orbit and then of course beginning cathane detection with the cathane detection orbiter systems and so we will see how the SCATHI and its partner managed to handle those activities. The first thing they did was to light the Estes engine and this was to make a mild course correction to set the periapsis around the moon to the right height approximately 20 kilometers a very close periapsis but enough to clear any obstacles around the moon then the mission proceeded to make its way closer to the moon taking about half a day during its uh, approach to periapsis and you can see a simulated view of that here as the moon gradually comes into view the orbiter is not uh, approaching the moon as some of our other missions have, it is actually approaching prograde and so that has the benefit that it will keep in communication with Earth uh, through all the necessary maneuvers. And so here you see the mission approaching the moon quite quickly. And the lunar orbit insertion burn was approximately 800 meters per second. Uh, pretty close to that within uh, plus or minus 0.5 meters per second. And here you see the SCAFI Cathane Miner, the Cathane Detection Orbiter, and their booster, the Estes engine, uh, preparing to begin the necessary burn to make orbit. The desired orbit for the mission is under 250 kilometers at every point uh, because the cathane detection orbiter cannot operate above 250 kilometers. And there we see the, the burn beginning in this simulated view. Unfortunately the mission could not carry any uh, robotic camera drones because the camera drones would have added extra weight and this particular mission was already at its mass limits. The full burn took approximately seven minutes and we will see some of the highlights of the burn from the from the probe's point of view. Just a reminder of course the purpose of this mission is to see whether resource extraction can be accomplished on the moon by the EDB or by any agency for that matter and then to also test the conversion of cathane in particular into useful fuels. It is possible that the cathane cannot be converted to MMH N204 or N204, either the propellant or the oxidizer uh, that the probe itself uses or the lander uses, uh, but that would not be considered a failure of the mission as long as uh, there is the potential to uh, drill for a cathane on the moon and then convert it to something useful. Uh, the suspected likely chemical products are kerosene and methane. So those two uh, propellants are possible and also uh, oxygen, liquid oxygen, uh, if it is compressed. How the moon could possibly have these hydrocarbons, this uh, cathane, is uncertain but uh, it is theorized that it does contain some deposits of it. It's possible that uh, when it collided with the Earth, either the body that, was, that collided with Earth to form the Moon already had hydrocarbons on it. Uh, perhaps it was life-bearing. It was, of course, orbiting close enough to the Sun to perhaps harbor life, and maybe even brought life to Earth in the first place. Um, or perhaps there is some other explanation. So uh, we don't know why the moon has cathane, or if it has enough cathane for it to be useful. All we know is that there are trace amounts 
that made this mission worth attempting. And you see here now the Estes engine completing its burn to get into lunar orbit. The, the final orbit for, for the mission was uh, 200 kilometers by 17 kilometers, well within the margin that was required and also within safety parameters, uh, having the periapsis above 15 kilometers was the minimum. The orbital period was 1 hour and 58 minutes. The inclination of the orbit was 52.272 degrees and uh, so that was uh, 52.272 degrees and that was to optimize the ability of the cathane detection orbiter to scan and uh, here we see the SS engine having completed its burn successfully. The delta V remaining in the stage, uh, the booster stage, was 1268 meters per second which would be well enough to bring the the lander down. And the lander of course had its own fuel in order to uh, complete the descent burn but it was helpful to make sure that the booster stage was able to begin the descent burn and uh, it would have required at least 600 meters per second from the booster stage. So so far the mission is uh, going successfully. The cathane detection orbiter began cathane detection while still in communication with the Earth and uh, but the mission soon passed behind the moon for the first time. The mission will uh, proceed for the next two days to detect cathane and then mission control will select a landing location for the lander and hopefully within two days the landing will proceed and we will get word on whether that part of the mission is successful. So with that, uh, thank you for watching the special coverage of the Scathy Cathane Miner, Cathane Lander mission. And of course that part of the mission is now the critical part, the part we're interested in, the first landing by the EDB of a mission on the moon. And so we hope you will tune in to find out how that turns out. Uh, we thank you for watching. And with that, this is the EDB signing off.